Rebbe Nachman tells us that when Mashiach comes, all wars will be abolished. The world will have eternal peace, as it's written in Isaiah. They will neither hurt nor destroy. And Rebbe Nachman was outspoken in his understanding of the foolishness of war and of the desire of human beings to hurt one another. What do we do until Mashiach comes? We see that today a senseless, brutal war is taking place. It's escalating. We're concerned about our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. What can we do? In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Pekude, the Torah tells us that the Mishkan was constructed and it was erected, it stood up, it was completed. It was completed on the 1st of Nisan. And this completion of the Mishkan meant that finally the Shechina had a dwelling place on earth. The divine presence had a home with us on earth. In Sefer Harid, Rabbi Askeri says famously, Bilvavi Mishkan Evne. In my heart, I will build a Mishkan. In my heart, I will build a Mishkan. How do we build a Mishkan in our heart? We build a Mishkan in our heart through cleaving to Hashem, to making God consciousness a part of every possible waking moment through prayer, through tzedakah, through giving charity generously, and through connecting with each other. Rabbi Nachman tells us that a, the word mishkan is related to the word shachin, which means neighbor. In other words, there is a connection between our neighbors, our community, and the construction of the dwelling place for the divine presence. And that connection is one of the most important ways in which we can build a mishkan in our hearts. When we connect with each other, when we give to one another, and when we care for each other. Right now, I know so many people are saying, what can we do? What can we do for the Jews still in Ukraine? So there are many charities to give to. The money is going towards food, shelter, armed buses, armed security to get people out of Ukraine. There are other things that you can do too. Next time you say Tikkun HaKlali, Rabbi Nachman's prayer composed of 10 Psalms, keep in mind all the Jews of Ukraine. Next time we say Tehillim Psalms, keep in mind all the Jews in Ukraine. Next time you have a few spare moments, do a mitzvah and keep in mind all the Jews in Ukraine. I hope that this war ends soon, as you all hope that this war ends soon. Please, God, and that even sooner we will experience the coming of Mashiach in our time.